Assalamualaikum and hi to my supervisor TS Dr. Nofariza binti Abdul Wahab My first panel Dr. Siti Norbaya binti Shahadan And my second panel Sir Said Kushairi bin Said Nordin My name is Maga Iskandar bin Fedileh I'm a third year student from FTKMP from course BMMV S1 slash 1 Okay, in this project Sarjana Muda 1 My current project is to improvement of a CNC router machine based on machining performance in this chapter 1, there is three important points. We start with the problem statement, then objective, and lastly, the scope of the research. For this project, the main process is to improve the CNC router machine. Making a calligraphy can run smoothly based on a machining performance and make a machine control system that can integrate a spindle, cutter, and a plotter pen to work in one process. In this problem statement, there is two main points that we focus on. The first one, the process of making calligraphy art from the image JPG to the G code. Next, the machinery process of the accuracy for the machine performance on the three parts. The first one, router, laser, and plotter. For the first statement, it is to make sure the process on the translate from the image to the G-code process can be smooth. This is because the translate of the G-code sometimes can be difficult due to the lack of the knowledge in filtering the unimportant G-code coding. Next, for the machinery process, there is a problem if there is a problem during a running the machine and because of it, we need to make a test run so uh, we can get a new accuracy data so for the upcoming process can be run smooth and there is no defect on the last product. Okay, there is three objectives in this project. We start with the study of the function of the CNC router machine based on the router, laser and plotter to operate an integrated CNC router machine based on the router, laser, and also plotter. And lastly, to evaluate the effect of the machining for the calligraphy. Here are the scope of the research. We start with the first one, is to run the machine independently due to my course is not using any CNC router or any G-code coding. Next, we combine three process into one coding G-code. After that, we analyze the CNC machine accuracy, the fourth one, to make sure the machine can run smoothly for the spindle, laser, and marker. Accuracy test for the hot font tree process also need to be done. And lastly, we undergo a hot engraving and laser cutting. In this chapter 2, there are two comparisons were made between the standard mini router machine an upgraded CNC router machine. What is CNC router machine? CNC stands for the Computer Numerical Control. CNC is a method for automating a control of a machine tool using a software. Okay. While for the router, it is a power tool that with a flat base, there is a rotating blade extending past the base. Rotating blade is known as a spindle. The spindle is is being a dr driver by an electrical motor or by a pneumatic motor. Here are the main comparison between the standard and upgraded CNC router machine. For the CNC 3018 Pro, they use a spindle chuck ER11 motor, basic graving spindle that can move Z axis and for the CNC router, can move Y axis only. And lastly, the step motor for the spindle can move X axis. The axis is determined from the base of the CNC router. While for the upgraded CNC router, that we call as CNC router laser plotter machine, can undergo three process continuously. Same like the basic spindle, we use a Chuck ER11 motor, but we extra on a laser Vigotech 8 watt 
and also they have a plotter that can attach anything like pen, pencil or marker. The plotter can move Z axis same with a spindle engraving and for the laser can only move X axis same like the stepper motor. This all process can run the process continuously using by only coding by G code. Chapter 3 is a methodology chapter. Methodology is on how the project can provide information and confirmation regarding on how the study of the function, the CNC router machine, based on the router, laser, and a plotter. That can be done also how the process of the making a calligraphy from an image to the product on the woods. As you can see on the slide, we start from the start, then followed by the problem statement, literature study, study on the components, is split into three main, plotter, laser, and spindle. Next, it follows to the machine run test. And if it can be done, the machine calibration, we can proceed to the calligraphy test. But if the process cannot be continued, we need to revise on the run test. Okay, let's say the process can be run. So we need to undergo a calligraphy test. After that, we are going to get a final product. And lastly, we end our project. In this work process, elaboration on process is more details. As detailed as on how to run the machine, make a product, and what to do if the product cannot be made. Okay, so first, we start with the design. From the flow chart, we start with the design, G-code, GRBL software, laser plotter and spindle, and lastly, the product. Okay, so for the design, the design can be get from the Google or from our own design made from the AI, Adobe Illustrations. Then, after we know what the design we want, next step is to translate it into the GR code, GRBL software, such as Laser, SOLIDWORKS, or STARCAM. The G code that we get will be used next in the GRBL software. The GRBL software function is to read the G code whether it can be run or not. And if, in, if it cannot be run, the thing that we need to do is improve or to make sure there is no unnecessary things in the coding. So after the coding can be read by the software, the process of the laser, plotter and spindle can be undergo. Lastly, the product will be created. Chapter 4, there is three steps to be followed. The first one is calibration, second one is accuracy, and the last one is the product. For the calibration, in this process, we use a design with an actual size or a G-code coding process. We use a T design and make sure all the three process, spindle, laser, and plotter, can be aligned in the same place. This needs to be done so in the future, uh, accuracy test will be easier due to the offset slightly different from before record. For the accuracy, this process starts with the basic design such as L shape, X shape or straight line. Then followed by the extracting from the G code and then test run on the wood for the result. And lastly, for the product, the final product will be in the snack sam or in the PSM2, due to the learning on the G-code filtering is still ongoing. Last for this semester, for the calibration, the first image on the top is the example for the calibration test. The T mark is the mark that have been done by a laser and a plotter. However, the T mark is not aligned together. It means the plotter and the laser offset is slightly different. What is the offset? Offset are the set value that are moved from the center point to the cutter point from the correct position of a cutter. So because of the machine have three tools, a new offset need to be keyed in into the G code. 
next image it is an accuracy process and the final product for the t mark it can be said that the plotter and the laser process be in the same mark line so from here we can conclude the new offset has been achieved and can be used in the next process that's all from me thank you